This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. Good evening. Well, it's hard to believe Thanksgiving is just about two weeks away. Many of us will be celebrating with our families, but those who are struggling may not have the means to do so. Adam Varhochikal joins us live in the studio with how our community is trying to help. Adam? Yeah, the economy is recovering, but the need is still there. That's why several groups are calling on the community's help to give those families a memorable holiday. Local philanthropist Evelyn Mountain has been collecting food for struggling families for more than 30 years. But this year, the donations have been coming in slower than normal. She expects thousands of people to sign up for food this Thanksgiving, but what she needs now is the food to fill these shelves. Turkey, turkey pots, chicken, hot dogs, and hams, small hams. The Catholic charities have also been taking donations for their Feeding Families holiday food drive. They're pretty much looking for the same things as Evelyn, and they'll pass them out on December 10th to about 2,000 families. But keep in mind, you'll need to pre-register for this. So we're going to give each of those families, depending on the size, a large box of food that they can then take home and prepare their family a really special holiday meal. The Salvation Army in Reno is hosting a Thanksgiving Day community meal at their office on Suto Street from noon to 2. So we'll serve about 400 people with that meal. Then on December 5th, they're holding their turkey drop at the Atlantis Casino Resort Spa from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Where we try and collect turkeys for those that we help during the holiday season. Even though we're out of the recession and the unemployment rate is down, there's still a large need. Officials say they've seen all kinds of people asking for help in recent years. We're not talking about just specifically homeless families, but we're talking about people who have jobs, they have an income, they have a house, a, pay a payment, possibly a car, uh, but they just don't have quite enough money to get by. One woman picking up food from St. Vincent's Pantry told us she's grateful for all these community programs. It really does help us, especially at the end of the, or right in the middle of the month, because my food stamps run out about the first of the second week. Now, for much more on these organizations and how you can help, head to KTVN.com and click on the online version of this story. Covering the big story live, Adam Varahachikul, Channel 2 News. Mm, all right, Adam, thank you.